I'm Sergeant Dwight Johnson. And I'm Senior Marine Deputy Rowan Hayes. Together we command the Umatilla County Sheriff's Office Search and Rescue Unit in Pendleton, Oregon, often called UMASAR. Did you know that most of the search and rescue responses in our county are performed by volunteers? Other than Sergeant Johnson and I, all the members in the UMASAR unit are volunteers. When you see the orange shirt of a UMASAR searcher coming, you are likely seeing someone who is volunteering their time to help others. UMASAR is not the only one staffed with volunteers. Many fire departments in our county use volunteers as well. And fire departments play a crucial role in search and rescue along with the Sheriff's Office. Mm -hmm. We want to tell you about a celebration event honoring these search and rescue heroes. You know, the ones who drop everything and donate their time to help others in trouble. Sometimes bad trouble. But before we do that, I want to introduce you to Nicole Doan. Hi, my name is Nicole Doan and I'm a nurse in Seattle, Washington. I was climbing with a couple of other nurses in the summer of 2017 and like most of your subjects, I made a mistake. Just one mistake that changed the course of my life forever. I lay on the forest floor for hours with a broken back and a spinal cord injury, shattered pelvis, just struggling to breathe and wondering if I would even survive. Luckily for Nicole and her friends, they were able to reach 911, and the local search and rescue unit arrived with a helicopter and rope team. This search and rescue team had special equipment and special skills. They were able to get Nicole out of a very bad situation. Nicole's survival was nothing short of miraculous, but her recovery was long and difficult. She endured months of painful physical therapy, but with a mental toughness and an amazing resilience, she worked her way back. She found she had a new appreciation for life. She also had a new appreciation for search and rescue. See, like most folks, she didn't give much thought to search and rescue before her accident. But after her accident, she realized she owed her life to the search and rescue team who responded to her accident and risked their lives to save hers. Nicole learned something else during her recovery. She learned that all the search and rescue personnel who came to her aid that day and hoisted her out to safety, risking their own lives, were volunteers and she felt a huge debt of gratitude. You know, before her accident, Nicole was into yoga. So during her recovery, she decided to take a yoga instructor course. And there she met Bailey Center. Bailey was an independent film producer. Bailey had an idea. Before Nicole, I had no idea that Search and Rescue was all volunteer, and after meeting the team that saved her, quickly fell in love with them as well, and wanted to capture their portion of the day that changed Nicole's life. Since then, we've been hard at work for the last six years, putting together many shoots, years of editing, and bringing in incredible filmmakers that have been willing to volunteer their time to contribute to this film. Together, Bailey and Nicole made a remarkable film about Nicole's life, her accident and recovery. The award-winning documentary lasts a little more than an hour and is just a beautiful and thoughtful movie about an amazing journey, a journey that was made possible by Search and Rescue. And now, after seven years in production, Nicole and Bailey have made their film, Where the Rope Ends, available to volunteer search and rescue units across the world to help bring attention to the service these dedicated folks provide their communities, as well as highlight how people can support their local search and rescue unit. This will happen during National Volunteer Week, April 21st through April 27th. <clears throat> UMASAR has partnered with Hermiston Cinema, Wild Horse Cineplex, the Prodigal Son in Pendleton, and the Pendleton Arts Center to bring you several opportunities to see this wonderful documentary that week. Dates and times of each event, along with tickets for the movie, will be available online, and all proceeds will go to the UMASAR Foundation, which provides equipment and training for our county search and rescue volunteers. Mm -hmm. 
Also at each event prior to the movie, search and rescue volunteers will be on hand to answer questions and show off equipment and vehicles. You can learn what it means to be a search and rescue volunteer. You can learn how to support your local search and rescue unit and how you too can join this wonderful group of people dedicated to helping others in crisis. And as an added bonus for attending, we will be raffling off several door prizes provided by our generous sponsors and have a special grand prize. The winner of the grand prize will be announced the week after our event. The week of April 21st is proclaimed to be Search and Rescue Volunteer Appreciation Week in Umatilla County. So we hope you can make one of our events that week so you can show your support and thank a Search and Rescue Volunteer. And who knows, you might just decide that search and rescue is right for you too. You can find out more and purchase event tickets by visiting our UMASAR Foundation website. The address will be displayed at the end of this presentation. So this is Sergeant Dwight Johnson. And this is Senior Marine Deputy Rowan Hayes reminding everybody that the best search and rescue mission that we can have is the one that never happens. So be safe, and we hope to see you at one of our events this April. Thank you. Thank you.